Find the binomial expansion of 1 minus x to the power third up to and including the term in x squared. Hence or otherwise show that 125 minus 27x all to the power third is approximately equal to 5 plus m over 25x plus n over 3125x squared. For small values of x, stating the values of the integers m and n. Use your result from part A2 to find an approximate value of the cube root of 119 giving your answer to five decimal places. So let's have a little look, so look at this then. The first thing we need to do to do <laughs> is to use the binomial theorem, isn't it? So let's have a go at that. So let's expand this then here. One minus x to the power third is equal to one plus n times the x value plus n n minus 1, which is minus 2 thirds, x squared over 2 factorial, plus dot dot dot, we're only going up to x squared, so that's equal to then 1 minus x over 3. Here this 2 will cancel with this 1 and 2 here, and then basically we've got two minuses in here, we've got another, that's three minuses making a minus. We're going to have a 9, aren't we? x squared is the x term. And then there's a 3 times 3 left, which is 9. And then it's minus dot, dot, dot. So there's the sequence then. The binomial theorem of this bracket up to x squared. Hence or otherwise, show that this is equal to this. 1, 2, 5 minus 27x to the third. So let's have a look at this then. 1, 2, 5, minus 27 x to the power 1 third. Okay, that's equal to, so let's take a 1, 2, 5 outside of a bracket here, so that we've got a 1 in place where we want it to be. We'll need the 1, 2, 5 underneath here, and 27 over 1, 2, 5 x. So that's that bracket, that's 1, 2, 5, still the same thing of course, 1, 2, 5 minus, and then the 1, 2, 5 is cancelled to give minus 27x, and all of this is to the power third. So this will equal then, uh, a product to the third is equal to the first part of the product to the third, 1, 2, 5 to the third is just 5, then you've got the second part of the product, which is 1 minus 27x over 1, 2, 5 to the power third which equals, now we can see here what we're going to get, we're going to get five lots of bracket and then we can use our formula here with the x value in place in, in its stead. So we've got one minus x which is now this value here. The minuses correspond so it's just the 27x over 125 so it's 27 but there's a 3 underneath so we can just write 9x over 1, 2, 5. And then the next term, minus x squared, this squared, so it's minus, that correspondence is fine, um, x is this squared, so it's 27x over 1, 2, 5, this squared over 9. So I'll put it like that, minus dot dot dot, close bracket. Let's see what we've got then. <coughs> we've got equals 5, first of all. Then we've got minus, and then it's 9x over 25. And then it's minus, and then it's 5 lots. So this will be, ah, this will be 27 squared over 9. But So it's 27 times 27 over 9 is 3 x squared, so there's a 27 squared and one of them divided by 9. We've also got a 1, 2, 5 times 1, 2, 5, but 5 of those will disappear, so it'll just leave the 25 onto it, minus. So what does that equal then? That will equal 5 minus 9x over 25 minus 81 over, and this would be um, 2,500 plus a quarter of 2,500, which is 6, 
two five. So it's three one two five. Type in the calculator if you need to. X squared minus dot dot dot. So what did we have to show? Let's have a quick look. M over twenty five and N over three one two five. And it was a minus is still there, I presume. Now it's a plus, so we need to carry the minus. So M is equal to minus nine and n is equal to minus 81 because they were written down as pluses weren't they so there's m and n then from that problem there and now the last part of the problem in part b hence find the cube root of 119 to 5 dp so uh, b let x equal now if I, we put 4 in here that will be 100 and... no, if we just put... we want the cube root of 119 so we need to take away 6, don't we? from 125 to get 119 so to take away 6 what will we need for x? Um, <clears throat> 27 x is equal to um, 6 over 27, isn't it? 6 over 27 and then that will give us 125 minus 6 which will be 119 the 3's cancel is 2 ninths so x equals 2 ninths gives and then we'll have our cube root of 119 then uh, the cube root of 119 is equal to and our series it will be 5 minus 9 over 25 of x which is 2 ninths minus 81 over 3 1 2 5 times 2 ninths squared so this will be approximately equal to uh, so let's see what that equals then tap in the calculator 5 minus uh, 9 divided by 25 times I'll put it in a bracket, 2 divided by 9, close bracket, minus 81 divided by 3125, uh, times by bracket, 2 divided by 9, close bracket, squared, equals 4.91872. And what was the final part of the question? to 5dp. Well that was it then, wasn't it? 4.91872 and we can just use the calculator to do the cube root. So if we do uh, cancel 119 to the cube root, so 1 divided by 3, just have a look at it. 4.91868 so we're on the right track here aren't we? Looks like we've got it okay according to this calculation.